Jamie Lee Curtis is stuck on her cute little doggy in Beverly Hills Chihuahua, and she confesses it wasn't all acting. I am a dog lover. I am not a dog maniac. I am a dog respectable, cooperative, owner, pet, uh, relationship person. I'm the person you call when you need a dog euthanized because I have a healthy respect for uh, the relationship my friends have with their pets and how hard it is for them to let go. Unfortunately, the chihuahua who plays Jamie's pampered pet just didn't want to spend any time with her off camera. Oh, I tried. I did my best Jamie Lee Curtis schmooze. Didn't work. I brought nice treats. I brought little stuffed animals. Nothing. You know what? She liked me until her trainer said stop liking me. For Jamie Lee, the biggest stretch was filming on the most famous shopping street in Beverly Hills. I do in the movie only. I hadn't been on Rodeo Drive in God knows how long the day I had to walk down Rodeo Drive. I, I walked down the alleys in Beverly Hills, I, you know, to avoid those paparazzi. So what will happen when parents take their kids to see this movie? <laughs> Mommy, I want a chihuahua. I want a chihuahua. And you know what's beautiful? Parents get to say, no, sweetheart. We're not going to get a chihuahua today. I know you really, I see you really want that chihuahua, and we're not going to. I'll tell you what, why don't we go research chihuahuas? Let's learn about chihuahuas and find out, are they, would that be a good pet for our family? Now Jamie Lee has a new children's book that grew out of a grown-up word. Actually, it came out of the word consequence. Um, when I first wrote books for children 17 years ago, the first book, I put the word consequence in it. I wrote the line, when I was little, uh, I didn't understand consequences. Now I do, but I don't like them. And the publisher said that I couldn't have the word consequence in the book because it wasn't age appropriate. And I said, well, it is for my four-year-old. They said, no. So at the time, it was my first book. I went, OK. And then over the years, we were talking, and I reminded them about this argument. It was like, all right. I said, let's just make a book called Big Words for Little People and get them all out. So we'll put consequence and appropriate and inappropriate and, and persevere and respect and privacy and, you know, important words for children to know. 